When people find out we're entomologists, they always have questions. Like, what do you do for big black ants? Everyone has questions. Did you know that sending us a photo is a great way to help us identify the pest you found? We appreciate the many great images we receive, but the thing is, we have to be able to really see what's in the photo in order to be able to correctly identify it. Like, what's this? Or that. To get a good photo, we have a few suggestions. Shoot with plenty of light. If there's not light where you are, walk to a window or use a flashlight to illuminate. Or if you don't have that, take a white piece of paper and use it like a mirror to shine the light on your subject. You'll want to steady the phone or camera, but you can rest it on something solid like a can of soda. And then you get a nice steady shot. If you don't have something to steady it with, make sure the one edge is touching something solid. The closer the better, but not so close the camera can't focus. And don't use telephoto. For phone cameras, it doesn't help. And this is a big one. Make sure you don't smash the bug beyond recognition. If the insect is moving around too much, put it in a zip seal bag and hold it steady. And if that doesn't help, put it in the fridge. That'll chill it out. I think they're getting the picture. You framed it up nicely. Wouldn't want to ruin my image.